let's focus on the tribal colleges. Let's focus on the future. So I really believe that uh, whenever we turn this thing around, it's going to be uh, right in the heart of our tribal colleges. So with that said, I'd like to call up the Turtle Community College uh, students. I think we have here today with us uh, Jacob Dakota and uh, Casey Trotier. Good afternoon, tribal and state leaders, representatives, dignitaries, credit guests. Cassie and I, are the, uh, we're honored to be able to speak to you representing the Turtle Community College. My name is Jacob Dakota. I come here representing the TMCC Senate, Student Senate. My parents are Alyssa Martinez and Jerome Dakota. I am an enrolled member of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, and I am, I am currently the Vice President and a sophomore pursuing an associate's degree and major in psychology. TMCC was founded through a tribal resolution to charter the college in 1972. We recently celebrated our 40th anniversary. The college was established to help preserve the tribal heritage, language, and culture, and this is the original goal and plan for today. Turtle Community College is located in North Central North Dakota on the Turtle Mountain Indian Reservation. We currently have a, approximately 500 full-time students. Enrollment at TMCC is open to students regardless of race. TMCC has been an accredited institution with higher learning commission since 1984. We offer Associate of Arts programs, Associate of Science programs, Bachelor of Science programs, Associate of Applied Science programs, and Certified programs. The college has so much to offer and the students in our community. In addition to many opportunities offered academically, TMCC also has several activities for our students to participate, including cultural events such as power organizations and management, American Indian hand games, moccasin making, feeding, and the opportunity to participate in American Indian higher education consortium competition. There are also clubs, organizations, as well as men's and women's basketball. I graduated as a salutatorian from Turtle Community High School in Belcourt in 2011. I decided to attend TMCC because I thought it would be a good suit being I had a strong family and it was affordable. Um, I also feel it was a great opportunity to learn from local instructors which are allowed to slowly make the transition to a four-year university. Another key reason why I stayed was because it was affordable, as I said earlier. We're all, where we all live is a thousand per semester. We're also going to get an education like that. TMCC has provided me with Several experiences, such as being a representative of the Student Senate and having the chance to be involved in events such as this. Another great thing about TMCC is it provides no cost tutoring and gives it gives back to the students. Yes. Good afternoon. My name is Kathy Trotty. I am an enrolled member member of the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa Indians. My parents are Sheila and Rob Trotty and I am a junior in the Bachelor's of Science in Early Childhood Education program. I graduated from St. John Public School in 2010 as an honor student. I, am, I have always had an interest in working with young children. My goal was to own my own daycare center, and I, I like that TMCC offered my month daycare providers to give. When I enrolled after graduation, or yeah, after completing my certificate, my advisor and instructors encouraged me to continue to get my Associate of Science in Early Childhood Education. As part of my curriculum, I had to take and pass the practices test. With the support of my family and the faculty and my advisor, I successfully completed the practices one, and I am on the president's list. When my friends and classmates found out I was going to attend TMCC after graduation, they almost looked down on me for wanting to attend our tribal college. I can proudly say that I have an associate's degree, a certificate, and I'm well on my way to earning my bachelor's degree. Many of the same friends and classmates know, have no degree and are a lot of debt thanks to high tuition and student loans. This is why Turtle Mountain Community College was my first choice, and I believe it should be everybody's first choice. It's like Jacob said, where else can you get a quality education for $1,000 per semester while being at home? In closing, we would like to thank you for the hard work you have well done to make the tribal colleges what they are today and allowing us to experience the success we have in the I'm proud of my sister here that she's here and she's going to give a good, good talk here and I'm uh, glad that she's uh, here with us today. I'm an enrolled member of the Sandy Rock Sioux Tribe. My parents are Larry and Dolores Hayes. 
Um, they didn't go to college, but my mother worked for IHS for 33 years. Um, I come from a very strong Powell family that I'm very proud of. Um, I graduated from Flying Junior Indian School, it was a BIA all Indian boarding school, where college was not, the, the, the preparation in the top of college wasn't, it didn't exist for us. And, but I was lucky because I knew right from a very young age that I wanted to join the Army. So I served five years active duty in the Army and five years living as a dependent over in Germany. Um, when I returned from Germany, I had the great privilege of being a stay at home mother for 13 years and raising my four children. <coughs> and I returned to the workforce at our tribal casino. But through different life changes, I found myself unemployed and living in Fort Gates, North Dakota. So I grew up in Rapid City, South Dakota. So I'm used to that big city convenience. So moving to the reservation was a very great culture shock for me. And um, even though I had a lot of work experience, I soon realized that every job I applied for required computer skills, not something I didn't have. I, and to this day, I still don't even have a cell phone. Um, <laughs> and even though um, I was sitting one day thinking, how am I going to get computer skills and go back to school? Because I don't know algebra. I don't know anything about algebra. I was so terrified of algebra. And when my daughter came home from high school one day, she was trying to get me to help her with algebra. I said, I don't know, baby. They shouldn't even be adding letters anyway. <laughs> I said, who made this up? But I went to Sable College, walked in, and got so much help from everybody. Because I'm not a traditional student. I didn't go back to college until I was 48 years old. You know, so I turned 49 the other day when Alabama won, yay, <laughs> on my birthday, that was my birthday present. But for, for me, City Group College has just changed everything so much for me. I didn't realize that I could speak in front of people. I've had opportunity to go to AHEC and have so much fun, and I can encourage you, you young kids. I'm an old grandma, and I had so much fun at AHEC. Do good in school, do stay, go to attendance, do your grades, and go to AHA. Because as a old grandma, I can't even imagine how much fun all the young kids had. You know, I had so much fun as an older person, so. But I'm in my second year at City Hill College now, and I've had many great opportunities like this one here today. I can solve an algebra problem now, and I know how to operate a computer. The one thing I learned about living in Fort Gates is that City Blue College provides opportunity and hope to better our lives through education. In a community that has a very high suicide rate amongst our young people, I can't think of anything more important than providing hope and opportunity for them to better their lives and that life is worth living. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next we have the students from uh, Chineska Chikana College. We have Nurse Smith and Ryan Brown. because it was close to home and it offered Dakota culture and language classes. And I continued to go here because I got into involved with, really involved with our student government. I'm our student government president and I'm also on the AHEC Student Congress Secretary. And I encourage all other travel college students to attend AHEC this year in Green Bay. It should be a lot of fun. Just a story about myself. I uh, attended Devil's Eye Public School, just north of the Devil's Eye uh, Spear Lake Reservation. I am a, a role member of the Spear Lake Dakota Nation. Um, I graduated from Devil's Eye High School in May of 2011. Um, through my high school years, I have been in contact. I live in St. Michael's, located on the Spear Lake Reservation, close to Fort Time, where our college is located. And through high school, through a STEM program, the STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, I have been introduced into a, a degree of pre-engineering, that's what I'm currently taking. I will finish up this spring, graduate with a pre-engineering degree, and I will transfer to NDSU next fall to pursue a Bachelor of, excuse me, a bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. And uh, it's been great. It's uh, since uh, freshman in high school, I was able to reach with uh, instructors from NDSU. I have been in contact with them, like I said, since I was a freshman in high school. It's been great. Um, it's close to home, like Darcy said. And you get to you get to meet a lot of new friends. The faculty and the staff are just amazing. I couldn't have done anything without them. 
They're so helpful. They're able to, they're willing to help you 24 seven, no matter what your problem is. And that's what I really like. And me as growing up through Double like Public Schools authors with reservation, I wasn't really exposed to my Dakota culture. So coming to this school also introduced me into my culture, and I am very grateful for that. So that saying, um, I'd like you all have a good evening and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Nicole Montclair, and she is the vice president of the student body. Give her remarks.